Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Taney Como. We'll do one cast today. It is Wednesday the 29th of December. Only a few days left of 2021. Generation pattern has been the same, but it's been a little bit strange. Um, strange in the fact they really haven't been doing this much in the last few years. Well, they'll run water during the day and then shut it off part of the day. And yet this morning they ran it up to four units for two or three hours. Back down to zero and they're supposed to crank it back up this evening after dark. They are pulling Table Rock down about a tenth every day, tenth of a foot. Um, beavers running some water, so uh, they're just moving water out of the system. Bull Shoals is dams running water too. Um, I think all the lakes are still under power pool, or right at power pool. Um, I'm sure they're just trying to make some water, some room for rainwater later this winter or in the spring. I'm throwing a 32nd ounce jig, two pound line this evening. This one is a sculpin and a ginger with a sculpin head. And I'm just across from Short Creek. <laughs> Throw over on this bluff side. There's been a few fish midging. The lake here, the, the water is not that deep, um, probably six, seven feet over in this corner, but a lot of it's four and five foot. It's kind of a transition area where the channel switches sides of the lake. And there's a fish. One just jumped down there, so it just caught my attention, and that one came off. Phooey. There's another one jump. So I almost had a fish on the first cast. Quite set the hook hard enough on that one, and there was another bump. Kind of figured they'd be biting. We've had rain all day, pretty much. Cooler temperatures. It's supposed to warm up for a couple of days and then get really cold this weekend. There are a ton of people in town. Branson is booming this week. The lake hadn't been too bad as far as people. A lot of guides out this morning, even in the rain. Rain stopped here about, oh, 40 minutes ago, and then the sun came out. Which is nice.
Come on, fish. I really don't need to let this jig sink very far, being as shallow as it is, even if I have fish on the bottom, they're going to come up three or four feet, or even five feet to chase the jig. kind of feel like they're pretty active, so I'm working it fast. Jig and float probably work pretty good right now, too. I think uh, Darren came over here and fished a zebra midge not too long ago in this area and did really well. have a black jig on another rod I'm gonna throw here in a minute Stock, stalker size. Maybe on the small side. Blue heron sitting over there. As I get down further in this transition area, the, the bottom really gets flat all the way across and gets a little bit shallower. The water's still pretty dark, but it still has a lot of silt in it from Table Rock. So I can't see the bottom. Oh, let's try this black jig. It's a, also a 30 second ounce.
Oh, there was a bump. It was dropping. Oh, there was one. Two bites, I'm not two missiles. Uh oh. Yeah, I got it. Thought I had a little little tangle. There's a nice fish out there just rose. Jackson has had a lot of attention this holiday. All the grandkids. All the grand, all our kids, well, not Greg, but all of our kids own dogs except for Greg. So they love dogs and of course Jackson's got a really good temperament and he lets them crawl all over him. So he's kind of enjoying being out and away from them in the boat, I'm sure. for a little bit more action than this. Let's try something. working a little faster and less of a pause. Because there are a lot of fish on the surface. Let this one sink.
I'm gonna run over closer to this bank and throw a few times. few more casts. I really don't think generation pattern is going to change much in the next week or so. Um, we got one more rain coming up. It's not supposed to be a lot. I think they'll continue to drop the lakes a little bit, but not, they're not going to go crazy about it with this mild weather. It's um, our hope that they, they get rid of quite a bit of water before the spring, it'd be nice. If you can hear that train whistle, that's Silver Dollar City and their train train ride that they offer. If it wasn't so dead gum crowded, I wouldn't mind going out, but we've had some friends go out and said it's it's over an hour wait to get on the train or any ride or and can't walk around there's so many people Everybody's gearing down. Season's over after this week. For most of the shows, Silver Dollar City, you know, a lot of places like that, so. Not us. I think it's fish biting. Man, this is crazy. I really thought I'd do pretty good. Pretty much bouncing it off the bottom here. 
Ah. Last cast. Should have brought my fly rod and some midges. I think I would have cleaned up. Okay, great evening to be out, even though I only landed one, that's okay, it was fun, thanks for watching, we'll see you again tomorrow.